now we've learned that Mercedes has been involved in the creation of basically a CPAP machine, which is like, I know they use that sometimes with like sleep apnea. So it's a breathing aid um, that can help these coronavirus patients because we know hospitals around the world, of course, are just are getting absolutely pressured to be able to supply enough ventilators at the rate that this disease keeps spreading, the virus keeps spreading. So um, what's, the, what's the latest on that? And just exactly what is Mercedes' involvement in it? Yeah. All seven UK-based F1 teams have joined uh, something called Project Pit Lane, which um, is answering the government's, the UK government's call for uh, increased ventilators and medical equipment and all sorts of stuff. And um, I mean, I'm learning a huge amount about kind of medical equipment, just kind of doing a bit of background research on this. But um, one thing which uh, Mercedes engine side, so uh, they're called uh, high-performance powertrains, Mercedes high-performance powertrains, they're based in Bricksworth. Uh, which is um, a kind of 15, 20 minute drive from Brackley where the F1 cars are built. This is where they build the engines. And um, they've been working with UCL for some time, University College London. And uh, basically when it became clear that uh, there was going to be a shortage of ventilators and similar equipment that uh, people need to uh, deal with the worst symptoms of coronavirus, uh, they kind of sprung into action and they um, took apart what was a, uh, an, an existing uh, piece of technology uh, that is called the Continuous Positive Airway Pressure, or CPAP, as it's kind of referred to, I think, in medical kind of circles. And um, they've been used quite a lot in Italy and China uh, for treating people uh, without having to have a full ventilator uh, kind of attached to the person, which means kind of sedating them and stuff like that. So it's a good kind of middle ground. And basically what they did is they, they took this existing uh, piece of equipment and um, that was no longer under a patent, and they uh, took it apart, saw how it worked, and, uh, and they basically reverse engineered their own one from, from what they had there. But the crucial thing is that they reverse engineered it so that it was incredibly easy to mass produce and produce incredibly quickly. And so these are, this is a key thing because if the uh, rise continues in terms of coronavirus cases and people with serious symptoms and people need to go to hospital, uh, the UK government's warned that there's a danger that they could run out of, um, of, of ventilators to, uh, to to look after those people. So they need as many uh, new bits of equipment as possible. So what these teams are often doing is, is, is as much kind of actually producing them, but also engineering new uh, designs and coming up with designs, which of course have to go through all the normal safety tests and so on, but coming up with these new designs uh, that can be used. So Bricksworth, along with the UCL, uh, work, works on this design. And what would usually take maybe a year or so to, uh, to produce. They did in 10 days, 100 working hours uh, was all it took for them to take this thing, strip it apart, figure out how to make a better one, figure out how to mass produce it, send it to the NHS, get it approved uh, by the government and away they go with producing those. So the hope being that um, when people inevitably do end up with uh, coronavirus, given the amount of cases that we have in the UK and, and how, it's, how it's progressing, uh, there will be equipment there to, um, to treat these people in hospital. And it's a, a time when Formula One teams are essentially shut down. Most of the teams currently are on their uh, kind of enforced break at the moment, uh, which was brought forward from August. So now that that's going ahead, you know, you may as well use some of those brains to, uh, to work on something that's really worthwhile and is hopefully going to go uh, some way to helping this crisis. Yeah, definitely. Because I mean, even just reading it, it sounds absolutely extraordinary because they were saying if, you know, certain trials go well, they could produce around, Mercedes can produce around 1,000 of these machines a day, which is just outrageous as well. So is it that the trial period is is over? It's been officially approved and accepted and hospitals can start um, using it and ordering it. And is there any news of, say, some of the other teams, like we've said, like McLaren or Williams or whatnot, getting involved? Yeah, I, I think that's that's right. More more or less what you said. Um, the the other teams are all working together. They're actually working together in a consortium with a huge amount of other types of industry, and they've um, they've received an order as well. So um, I I'm not entirely sure on, on the exact differences. Again, I'm learning a lot between the difference between uh, a CPAP and a ventilator and stuff like that. But um, it seems like all the teams are, uh, are working towards it where they can and where they can contribute. And it's really just a case of uh, using the skill and the expertise and then the, to some extent the, the manufacturing capability uh, to produce um, stuff that's useful. But it, it needs to be coordinated centrally. So uh, the team's quite early decided that um, there was no point in each of them kind of pursuing their own 
uh, kind of project as they would in Formula One, of course. Uh, and it was much better for them to work collectively. And I think that's really uh, kind of summing up the spirit of, of, of motorsport. I mean, it's not the first time that motorsport has given something uh, to the world that is useful and that helps save lives. Obviously, it's usually to the motor industry. But, um, you know, a, a lot of these engineers are some of the top engineers uh, in, in the world, certainly mechanical engineers. And, uh, and so there's a huge amount of knowledge there which can be useful and kind of using those brains and kind of getting them working in, in, in one direction is, is, is exactly what they're trying to do. And um, what's coming out of it is, is quite remarkable. And it is a good news story amid a lot of uh, very worrying headlines. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content plus live streaming, make sure to subscribe to ESPN Player.